What's up, guys? Just want to jump on real quick, talk about Canelo Kovalev tonight. Uh, hell of a fight, uh, really good fight, interesting fight, because he had a guy who was much taller and longer in Kovalev, uh, as opposed to Canelo, who was the uh, shorter guy, uh, who I, at this point in their career, I think, has more power than Kovalev. Um, Kovalev did a hell of a job in this fight, keeping Canelo at bay with the jab. Uh, Canelo had a really hard time getting inside, and at uh, at times in this fight, he was very picky at uh, what he was throwing and when he was throwing it. I think that uh, Canelo was down going into the 11th round. I had Kovalev winning. I had him up two rounds. I think that Canelo needed those two rounds to uh, to get the draw. Um, and I thought that Kovalev did a, a hell of a job making this fight as competitive as it was. Canelo obviously had some problems getting inside. Uh, he couldn't get inside. And there were times that Kovalev snapped the head back. And you could see the reaction of Canelo that some of his shots had some pop on him. Uh, but when Canelo was throwing those hooks, and when he was getting inside, um, you could tell that those punches had bad intentions and there was some damage being done. Um, when he knocked him out in the 11th round, those are some brutal shots. Um, the finisher was that over-the-top right that landed right on the chin. So you had the temple shot from the left, followed by the right. Um, brutal, brutal shots. Um, so hats off to Canelo. I think he is now considered pound for pound the best in the world. I have him ranked as the pound for pound uh, best in the world right now. Um, he went up 15 pounds to fight Kovalev, and I think that's an accomplishment. Uh, I think that's a hell of an accomplishment. So um, I have Canelo ranked uh, as my pound for pound number one. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Who is your top uh, pound for pound fighter in the world right now? Let me know in the comments below. Peace.